know what's the problem, like the fun factor is so high. Ah, oh, swearing. The fun factor is so high. We, oh, fun factor. We weren't successful yet, but like this team, like, I mean, you're all my friends, you know? <laughs> Everyone? No, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how it's the opposite around, but for me, like, you're all, you know. <laughs> if Ben Lee was ever to get married, we'd all be invited. Are we in the yeah. wedding party? I mean, how do this uh, affirmation? I mean, uh, what would you say? You will get married, we need to be everybody there. Yeah. For the bachelor party, yeah? For the bachelor party. Or uh, also to the ceremony, to, also the, for the party, ceremony? to everything. We all stand in the front right. with you? you need yeah, you say that uh, we are all good friends. And I'm not sure if I have the power with my wife, with my ah, with my girlfriend. With my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I mean, you already asked. I you, asked, but then uh, I don't ask. But uh, you pretended to ask, which generally goes down super well with women. Yeah. In front of all of her friends, and presented a set of AirPods rather than a ring. No, but actually, we 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 are, we are still uh, friends talking. Talking. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping in the same bed. Oh, that's a good sign. Eh? Yeah. I mean, still a good sign. Yeah, yeah. You're a lucky man. <laughs> I mean, she's really lucky because if, if you can have a man like me, I have to tell you, in, uh, what else you want? What else you want? The you ring. <laughs> I mean, we are one man down. Understandably, you know, this it would be a lie to say this year has gone well, and it's uh, he's been tougher on Giacomo than than any of us and there's a lot of you know I think I said before I do not envy the pressure the sprinters have and Jacko has thrown everything in the kitchen sink at this time for him to go home and recover so we're down to seven we're almost almost we are days away from the final week now the final week that's seven that's seven days so actually the final week starts tomorrow no yeah, no, 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 no. Seven days, seven days of racing left after today. Third week of the Giro start on Tuesday. Yes, I've been always like that. So <laughs> see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's likely to be a quieter weekend for us, but not on the media team. Media <laughs> team just waiting in the wings to piggyback off of the back of Rick Zabel and myself. Alex, you got what you wanted. I'm leaving. You can do way better job. So the media team is leaving us. Which was planned before Nidolo left, I must say. Yes. Yeah. Do we have a media team? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Today's Milan Torino stage. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be a breakaway or a GC day. It could go one of three, three ways. We've been analysing it. It could be that the GC riders mm so hell-bent on just being in good position that they just all cancel each other out. It could be all hell breaks loose and a proper GC fight, or it could be a breakaway day. Either day, I think, is the Cadiford shaking his head. It's not a breakaway day, according to, according to Alex, the Canadian asshole. Either way, I think it's gonna be a quiet weekend for us, just getting through it and focusing on the final week with Demo. However, I thought that was gonna go. That wasn't it. It was just like on, continued to be on. There was a very slight lull where I came back to the peloton, which had Demar, Cadiford, and Yente in, but only just. And then it just shattered again. That was a proper, proper bike race. I saw Simon Yates like, in that very slight lull, and I said, oh, you were my pick for today. And he was like, I oh, know, really. He was, really, he was quite um, annoyed by it. Just seeing the results, turns out he won it anyway, so. Angry Simon. Angry Simon won the day. Those climbs were relentless. Absolutely relentless. And the heat, we really expected hard, but that was far harder than I expected. One more day to the rest day, Kofa. Yeah, one more day tomorrow. But uh, with your leg, it's possible you're going to break away. Uh, really good, huh? At some point, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. What a TT in Verona. We'll give that a good go. Yeah. So, thanks for watching today. Ask me, follow the but can you imagine the stage yesterday if it was raining? Stage 15. It is stage 15, isn't it? The day before the rest day. Welcome back to the Giro. It's not really the Giro. So far we've partaken in 15 one-day races where there is an overall leader of those 15 one-day races. Like yesterday was 
mental. But like hats off because yesterday could have gone the way that it was just like uh, different ones just trying to ride in the front and no like result. But hats off to Bora properly took the race on, chucked everything out of his 7k to go and really just exploded the race. Yeah, we all got through it safe and sound. Today there is 48 kilometers of uphilling, categorized uphilling, all at the back end. So should be, uh, I was going to say it should be a simple one to get through, but there's not been a simple stage yet. So we'll just get through it. We'll just get through it. Go and look after Matthias. Today. Now, for me, Alex, you think always too negative. You know, I, left, I left you yesterday. We, we were so nice here. Two weeks, uh, two weeks riding in the sun. You know, sometimes you suffer a bit, sometimes you suffer a bit less. <laughs> <laughs> this cheer, I suffer a bit more. <laughs> for me, Matthias, he has a very interesting brain because all the bad memories he deletes directly. No, and he just remembers the good things, yeah, but then he's always so positive, and I have big respect for him. Sometimes he just replaces the bad memories with good memories. Like yesterday when Matthias was in the front group, yeah. until he decided to not go. Exactly. He has a very, like, a very interesting brain, like he, he's living in his own world, he changes the reality into his own reality, he's believing it. But for him it's good because like this he can go through it. Yeah, the short, so I have the... Uh, this, uh, yeah. Stage 15. What do you got there? The important thing is 5.9%. Yeah, none of this, none of the 0% stuff that other teams are sponsored by. Today was a day I really want to forget, so best is to drink directly, <laughs> directly a beer and then uh, life, you know, then in my own world again. And in my own world, it's always uh, it's a good boss. Today was brutal. Big fight for the breakaway. We did the first, I looked at my Hammerhead Carew to uh, 1 hour 50, and that includes the neutral. I had a 350 normalized average power, it's quite a lot. 49 average speed with a 4k climb in it, it's quite a lot. So then uh, formed the Gruppetto as and when we thought we would do, but it was um, a lot more hurt in the legs than I was expecting. So it was another real hard day. Like next week's going to be biblical. There's four days like today and a flat day and a time trial, so it's going to be uh, hard. Some tired legs. Brandley's fine, Brandley's absolutely fine. We tried very hard to get Demo in the breakaway and he almost was almost was just getting the one before the one that went yeah so that brings us to another rest day now which we all very much need I think the whole peloton needs like we've been racing like it's been raced every day this week has been like properly raced and it's been it's been good it's been hard it's been really hard we've just it's been Fighting, fighting in the group, group Etto, certainly yesterday and today. Julio Ciccioni won it. <laughs> I think I heard a story that he accused the Group Etto riders of just have, like, not being able to complain. We shouldn't have to complain because we just take it easy all the time. I'd love to strap 20 kilos to his bike and launch him into a Grand Tour stage and see what happens because uh, we fight. We really fight. But yeah, big week. Oh, that's a tunnel. Big week coming up. More climbing. We've got four mountain stages, one flat stage, and a TT with a hill in it. Not my preference, but you know, we'll still give it everything we've got. And yeah, that's, that's what we're doing here. It's, yeah, it's no secret that we're fighting for points. And it's, at the moment, it's not looking good. We've been desperately unlucky as a team with injuries and illnesses this year, especially with our point scorers. But it's still early, like, it's still early season there's, there's still time and there's a way of you know you can go to smaller races to collect points which it really is it does make a mockery of the point system but this reality is what we got to deal with what we got to put our heads together and work out how best to maximize keeping the world tour license so but we are all all in all the time for it and yeah our backs have been up against the wall but we've yeah we fight thanks for watching see you next week